Hello and welcome to Evolve Pipe Drive Podcast, which are all things pipe drive, sales, apps in the pipe drive marketplace. My name is Bruce Bignall, I own and run Evolve. We're a technology company based in the UK, working globally, helping small and scaling businesses get more out of pipe drive through implementation, consultancy and training. In this episode of the Evolve Pipe Drive Podcast, I'm joined by the CMO at Trust Mary, Arto Haho, who's going to walk us through a platform demo of Trust Mary and how it integrates with pipe drive. Hope you enjoy the show. Okay, then uh, these customers are happy what they have seen, uh, what Trustmary can do for them, so then we can win this deal. So, so this becomes a real customer for us. And now when we mark this deal one, what actually happens is that, uh, again, one of our filters here in PyPrive uh, will trigger. And then... Uh, mm-hmm this uh, integration with Trustmary will send this contact to to our platform, to Trustmary. And then in Trustmary, we have a, uh, we have created a contact list for all the customers who who are one in uh, Pipedrive. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we have uh, we have the automation created here. So whenever a new contact has been added to this uh, list, then what happens is that uh, uh, first we will wait for seven days, so we will give them a little bit time to get uh, uh, like start using Trustmary. Uh, then we will uh, activate this uh, survey to that customer. So we will ask both feedback and also we collect a review from that customer. Then we again wait for seven days. Uh, so we give them time to respond to that survey, but then if we don't hear anything, so then we will send automatic reminder uh, to that customer. And then actually yep. uh, from this automation, what uh, what happens is we also ask uh, or we add this customer uh, to a different list. <clears throat> so then uh, so then we like uh, and that actually activates some other uh, some other automations. But uh, and would would that be if the, if they replied to you if they replied during that they then go into another list is is that is that what you mean there? Um, no, in in this case, um, they will they will go to like um, just like we have two different like two different lists like the initial list when they become a customer, and then uh, then we add them to another list, and then we have like a different kind of. Um, automation activated for that list. So actually we will send a quarterly feedback request to, to the customer. Nice. So yeah. this is the initial to keep, keep thing. And then after that, they will be moved to the quarterly uh, feedback request. Nice. Yeah. So, so it keeps it, keeps it fresh and keeps it, and it's a nurturing yeah. touch point. And as then well, we can right? follow so, yeah, like uh, trends, like how, different customers like how they how they are doing over time like once in a quarter they will get the nps question and a feedback uh question so they can leave a feedback and then again we can we can also collect a review from them every time but yeah let's nice. go to look at the survey itself uh created with uh trust mary so after you become a uh, an our customer, then this is what you will see in seven days, basically after uh, after starting starting a deal with us. Uh, so first of all, this is like the very basic, simple uh, NPS question. Starting the survey, let's say I'm uh, I'm satisfied. So far, I I give ten out of ten. And then we uh, ask for more details. Okay, why did you select uh, that score? So this is like a good way to provide actual open feedback uh, to us in this case. Yep. And uh, this is now where the magic happens. So you have our customer has provided us uh, a score and then also be, uh, feedback. So then we ask the customer, okay, can we publish your feedback on our website and social media? So this is how we convert this feedback uh, into a review. And customer can still edit edit their comment here, like the public comment. And um, and then just provide their name. 
and then um, like what other information we want to collect from from the customers and of course uh, upload the profile picture as well and then the customer can decide if they want to make this uh, comment public uh, right here and uh, on average like let's say 20 percent of the uh, customers actually leave a review so that's uh, that's pretty high number actually mm. but uh, if the customer is uh, is happy that's that's what they usually do they they leave a review as well and then we we just uh, thank them for for answering now when mm -hmm. we go go back to like uh, our own view so this was what our customers see when they when they uh, become our customer so now when we go go back to our own view um we will see here the new review right here. Well, uh, this was just uh, provided in, in this demo. And then uh, you, yep. if you are controlling like what, what you want to show on your website, for example, so then uh, you can decide that, okay, I want to actually publish this to our website. So, so I can just mark this uh, public like this, and then mm -hmm. it will appear uh, in all of those places where you want to show uh, that customer review on your website. So now we can go back to our home page right here. And we can see that, okay, there are okay, let's see. Okay, now, now we can see the comments here. So so this is nice, now okay. automatically like updating every time we get a new customer review we we kind of uh want to publish it so then they will be and, and this this is a module that you would um a, a piece of code that you would put onto like a wordpress or a, um, a webflow site or, or exactly site, like, i guess so yeah. so yeah it's just uh just a little uh script of code i can i can show you right here so if you want to create uh, a widget to your website, um, we have a template of a lot of different kind of ways to show customer reviews. Perfect. And then, uh, yeah, let's say we want to create this kind of, okay, this is a real, real demo, but uh, <laughs> don't worry, we will be back here any minute. <laughs> We we, we, we we love we love demos but yeah we, we can stitch this in it's fine yeah that's uh okay now we are uh, creating a widget right here so yeah you can decide like how you want to show those uh, we have like different kind of designs here etc then uh, nice is is so just on that what is there a do you have any recommendations or insight into the performance of kind of widget layouts and does it depend on industry? Yeah, have you got any insights? I would on that? say it's more about like the most important is that uh, it's one of the top contents on your website because uh, that's usually top three information what your customers are looking for from your website. So you want to show it. Uh, so uh, above as high base, as you yeah, can yes. on, the, on the site. So it yeah. shouldn't be uh, somewhere on the bottom of your website, it should be somewhere on like. Uh, they will see pretty soon when they land. A really nice place to kind of cap it off because um, what we'll have we'll have links in the description below for you to kind of um, get your own kind of personal demo because there's so much more to the platform. You see, you can see A/B testing and whatever else on the left hand side there. So I would recommend get your own personal demo and then try trialing out the uh, the software as well. Um, it is native to the type of marketplace. Um, and that is my dog barking. I don't know if you can hear my dog there. Um, but uh Artu, thank you so much. That, that's been great walking me through the, the Trust Mary platform. Um and links in the description below to get your own personal demo. Cheers.